right. Now we're doing eight, pardon me, eight Q, beginner, reduce, but grow. This is by PG1, and 93% of people like it. So given a non-empty array of integers, we're going to return the result of multiplying all the values together in order. So we're going to get an array like this, and we're going to multiply them all together like this. So we could start off, we could say do something like a, uh, uh, what's the thing called? A for loop. We could say for let i equal uh, 0, while i is less than um, x dot length, we could say i plus plus, all right? And in front of this, let's say let result equal uh, z one. Let's say one since we're multiplying it and not adding, all right? Because if we did zero, then no matter what, the answer would be zero. Hopefully that makes sense. So while it's iterating through, we're going to say uh, result times equals, and then we're going to say uh, x at the current index, all right, at whatever index i is at the moment, and then we'll say return result, all right, hopefully this works, let's see, and it does, and let's attempt it to make sure there's no tricks, and it works, awesome, and that's cool, right, but what if, what if you want to do it another way, what if you, if you're looking at some JavaScript and you see some stuff you don't understand, like specifically this reduce method, right? Uh, well, here's, here's what the reduce method is. Pardon me. Uh, the reduce method executes a user supply reducer callback function on each element of the array in order, passing in the return value from the calculation on the preceding element. And the final result of running the reducer across all elements of the array is a single value. Uh, and perhaps the easiest to understand case for reduce would be to return the sum of all elements in an array, but we could also do the product of all elements in an array, all right? And so the syntax we would be using on this uh, is the reduce, we'll say like x dot reduce. We'll have an accumulator and a current value inside some parentheses for this little function we're going to make inside here, an arrow right here, and also the expression to do it, all right? So let's uh, go over there and see about doing this. So first let's change this into concise syntax just in case you've never seen it before. So we can say const grow equals x and then the rest of this stuff will just turn into an arrow right there. And then down here we'll say x dot reduce all right and uh, like we said over here there's going to be an accumulator and a current value. So we'll say acc for accumulator comma cur for current value a little arrow right here and then we'll say ack times cur like this. So it'll be like, um, let's say it's this one here. So it'll be one is going to be the current, excuse me, when it starts, one is going to be the accumulator and then it's going to multi be multiplied by two. And then, so that's two. So now two is the accumulator and it's going to be multiplied by three and uh, we'll get six out of it. Let's test it out just to make sure. And it does, awesome. And attempt it. And just like that, it works like a charm. All right. And so we submit it and uh, check it out. First thing, reduce right here. Uh, 577 people agree that that's a cool way to do it. Uh, here's another thing with uh, reduce. It's just they changed it to product and num instead of a and b. And we didn't even do it that way. We did act. And here's the for loop right here. Pretty much exactly the way we did it at first. So let's go over to mine. Uh, just 20 of us plus these folks and Stan, oh, I thought I said Stan Marsh. Uh, best practice in my opinion, very much like it, and we'll see you next time.